Welcome to another video on Power BI interview questions. Hope you're watching this series from beginning. The next question which you may be asked is give example of Power BI or DAX function that are very similar to SQL Windows function. In December 2022, in Power BI, we got three functions DAX function, offset, window, and index, which are very similar to SQL Window function. This question also have one more objective. Most of us in an interview will claim that I would like to learn new feature. I like learning. And because this feature is being released when we are recording this video in just last one year, so it is expected that if you want to explore new feature, you want to learn Power BI, are you aware of the feature which has been recently released? And this is almost a year old in case you are appearing in an interview now. It's really important that you keep an eye on the new releases of Power BI on blog.powerbi.com and try out these new features. And most of the time you will find a video on my channel after the new release where we will discuss some of these features. So let's look into the answer of this question. The DAX functions are offset, window and index are very similar to SQL windows functions in that they perform a calculation across a set of table rows that are related to the current row. So based on the current row, based on the relationship from the current row, we will be able to find out the calculation. These functions are not quite like SQL windows functions because they rely on something called as DEX evaluation context to figure out the current row. It's not exactly same. It's similar kind of stuff because they still need the current row context to identify and the current row context is identified still by the columns or the fields. Unlike some of the tools where it is just the table movement up and down, it is not like that. Still depends on, you know, what is the column of which we are looking at the current row. The DAX function do not return a value, but rather a set of rows. This set of rows then can be used with other DAX functions such as calculate sum x to calculate the values. We'll take an example for that. Also, in April 2023, rank and row number has been released. We already have a rank x function. And these functions are also very similar in the uses like the previous three functions. So today in this video, I'm going to explain you the first three. And we have another question which is coming up where I'm going to explain you the difference between rank and rank X. So let's jump quickly onto the power BI for this function. We are going to create majors. They are best suited for majors and we need to understand each function, what they can do. So now index function is something which can help me in finding out top or bottom performer. So basically the role of the index function is basically it going to give me based on the context, I can find out what is my first value or last value. So let's begin this journey. Let me bring in brand. Now let me bring in my major net. I already have a major net with me. And those of you following my series knows that I have this common schema, which I keep on using. You can download this common schema. And Power BI interview questions would also be available as a file on Power BI community. Here I want to know what is my top brand or what is my bottom brand? Now based on what? Based on net or based on brand name itself? Definitely we would like it based on the net. So let's create a new major. I have an option in the home tab for that and let's call it topper. Here, let me first try the index function and let me explain the syntax. So first thing which is asked, it's going to ask is for the position, position like first position or the last position. And we can change this first and last position using order by, like if I say order by descending of net value, then I'm talking about the top order by ascending of net value. Then I'm talking about the bottom performer relation is typically the table. And here we are going to use all or all selected of a particular column or a set of column. Order by should come from this relation. Next one is blank. 
we can leave that as blank partition by again should come from the relation let's say i have the category and the brand and i want to say within the category i want to find out the top bottom brands then i can do that and the match by now objective here is when i run this function i want to find out the brand name or i want to find out the maximum value there are two things which i can do here so let me first see what index function can do for me and this function behavior has changed after its release from december 2022 that in the order by when we want to use a measure we don't need it in the relation and if you watch my previous videos there you need it but here we will try out without that let's begin our journey so we say we need the first one we see all selected item brand and then we say order by and here we are simply saying net comma descending and rest of the things we leave just as is we don't need a partition by here in our visual right now we are only using brand so we don't need a partition now you can see it's giving the value brand a to me now in case you are using a order by column let's say in some of my videos what i do is to correct the brand's order like after brand 1 brand 2 should come so i sort it on brand id in such cases the brand id should also participate in all selected so please take care of that now i got the topper now the topper's name is brand 8 now what happens if i need topper's value so name and the value so the i'm going to create another measure again the measure tool was visible i clicked on new measure and topper value is now here i can use with calculate and why i was able to use this index function uh without calculate because it was returning only one value and when it returns only one value even though it may be a set of row or a row i can actually use that value so when it returns the one value i don't need a calculate i can do it pretty much without that so here i want the net and net for this what index function is going to return so i'm going to say keep filters because if i don't use keep filters it may actually give me the same value for all of them so i'll tell you the difference between now you see the value only once so if i want this value to repeat i don't have to use keep filters if i want just want this value so if i want to filter the topper when the brand itself is used then i can use keep filters if i don't use keep filters just for your understanding of yours then this same value will repeat in that case i can say what percentage you are from the topper similar way you can get the bottom performer using the index function and let me do that and i'll say bottom and the only thing i'm going to change it here i'm going to call it ascending actually i can use minus 1 also with the descending so brand 4 as you can see brand 4 and let me showcase you under minus 1 and desc so still you got the same bottom performer you have to watch the videos which i have individually created on these functions with the difference of how the order by can be used now to get into what all you can do with this now with the offset function i want to compare with the previous one and the best example which i think with them is the time intelligence which i always you know go ahead and look at the last month and i'm going to bring in month year here because month year is something which is not sorted by itself it's the month year sort column which sorts it so i will take this opportunity to explain you how to handle in such case because month year is not going to give me the last month if i sort it and you are getting this blank value because seems like my date table is not having all the rows and whenever you see these things you have to check on either side so i do have data a little bit longer so let me make it 2020 and now i have all the values now what i want here is i want the now the offset function offset function can give me minus one offset or previous one it means based on the month year it can give me previous row or the current row not about top bottom performer it's about the previous row from my context plus or minus so let me click on a new measure and try to explain you so under i can see the table tool on the top right now 
and I can click on a new measure from there and this time I'm going to create offset and here in the offset I'm going to use calculate net and what I want to do in the offset so in the offset when I have the offset function let's understand so this delta is nothing but plus or minus value which I want to give relation is nothing but that's again going to be all all selected the table basically order by same way the order by which which should order in this case month year sort is going to order and interestingly we don't have that in the visualization blanks and partition by so here my order by is not a major the order by could be based on the major but right now we want to use it based on a column or field and then we have the match by if required at the last so we are not going to use partition by so let's go ahead and say offset minus one i want to go to the previous and this is previous month because i'm going to use all selected date month year and the second column important to note here is i'm going to use month year sort i included both of them and then i say order by month year sort so now i'm saying you have to do this by using the order by of this month year sort and then let me I'm able to create the offset measure. Let me bring in the offset measure into the visualization and see what happens. You are able to see a one month before value here. Look at the values. Now I can change this offset to any number. I can change it to two or I can change it to plus one. I will get the next month value. We don't have a value in October 2019, but we have a value in November 20. 19 and I can get that in October 2019 using this offset another way to you know go ahead and do some of the calculation for the time intelligence but it doesn't mean they are going to replace the time intelligence functions they have their own advantage and wherever you can use them they are going to be a better alternative for some of the calculations now this let me rename this tab let me rename this tab is index let me add another page and in this page we are going to use window function so in the window function we don't have one offset or one value we have actually two and they can be relative or absolute and because of that relative and absolute nature we will be able to do running totals cumulative even mtd and qtd but here what i'm going to do here is basically with the date i'm going to show you an example of cumulative only and you can modify it and make it rolling also so i bring in the date and along with the date i would plan to bring in that measure so my visual is ready with the date and the net and i want to bring in the cumulative measure what i'm going to do is from the home tab let me create the new major by clicking on the new major and here i'm going to call it cumulative net The new major cumulative net is going to use calculate net and then we are going to use the window function here in the window function start from where so for rolling you can say i want to start from minus one minus two minus three minus 12 months is minus 11. but what do you want in case of cum cumulative what do you want in case of cumulative you want to always want to start from the first value first value in the window based on absolute value Second is what value? It's a relative zero. Current row, relative zero. And minus one, plus one, you go in the other direction. Then the relation. The, the next argument what we need is relation. And we say all selected or all. In this case, we need all because even if it's not, not selected, we would like that to be used. We would like those dates to be available while calculating cumulative, even if they are not there. We can say all of date table because date it has the lowest granularity or we can say date of date. I'm going to use date here because in that manner I will be able to use it when I'm using month year or quarter year also the same fun the same measure can be used. Order by I'm going to say order by date of date. Date from the date table rest of the thing I will leave default. Let me go ahead and add this measure into my visualization. And as you can see, I'm getting a cumulative value. Every day, the value is getting added up. So 15, 15, 
15 plus 21 15 plus 21 plus 37 15 plus 21 plus 37 plus 28 and so on accumulate your measure there are tons of other measures you can create in this manner you can answer this question if needed you can write down a quick example and explain it also remember to check rank and row number function thank you for taking time to watch this video your curiosity and quest for the knowledge are what's inspiring this series if you have any question or topics you would like me to explore in this series please let me know in the comments below your support is truly means the world to us it's the reason we create and share these videos if you have enjoyed this content and would like to see more please consider liking sharing and commenting it helps us immensely until next time keep learning and stay connected thank you